so we're actually making chapter today which is a Korean dish it's filled with like glass noodles and a lot of vegetables and yeah it's something quick and easy to make I know you guys have been requesting how to make simple Korean food so hopefully that you guys enjoy this and are able to follow along and make it yourself and enjoy a nice classic Korean food meal <laughs> So as you can see, we have a bunch of vegetables here set out for you. We typically need these noodles, bell pepper, fish cake, carrot, mushroom number one, mushroom number two, spinach, and onion. So these three were already like mixed in and sauteed with garlic, with sesame oil, and salt. Um, but apparently it's not 100% needed. But yes, here we go. So I have my sous chef here that helped me put a little bit of oil, right? And you start with the hardest vegetable, which is apparently carrot. <laughs> I did not think that. But yes, so you get that in there and you wait. You can sprinkle a little, little bit of salt, just like so. Salt bay. And we wait until it becomes nice and soft. Wow, while that's cooking. Well, we're back here and apparently we could just mix all the remaining vegetables. So I'm not that great at this. <laughs> apparently I made a mistake and I wasn't supposed to put everything in the bowl until it was sauteed. So I had to take everything out and then put it back in individually and then saute them each until they're all soft and warm and then you mix it all together. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, once the carrots are done, you put that, put it in a red big bowl and then put the next thing in there, the onions. You saute that a bit. Right? And at four degrees with half a pot of water you shove all the noodles in there and you wait 10 minutes for it to to be ready to soften and it's really a matter of just waiting putting all the ingredients in here and into there and then mixing it all in there afterwards all right so when the onions are soft and sauteed then you can just start transferring it over to the red container all right all right and then once you once you put it in there grab the next vegetable and do the same. And saute it until it becomes nice and soft. Checking up on the noodles. My mom says it looks done. Ooh, nice and soft. And you drain it, cool it with cool water, mm. and you have to cut it because it's too long. You don't want to be serving foots and foots 
in foot long of noodles. <laughs> and then after that, you have to give it some flavor and add some sauce. You add some the soy sauce. And then sesame oil. I guess my mom eyeballed it. And then you mix it. And then after all of the vegetables go in this red bowl, then we mix those noodles that you just saw into this red bowl and add more sauce. After the peppers are done, go get the fish. And then you just add the mushrooms and the fish cakes. And then mushrooms are apparently always the last thing you do. All right, so my mom said only to do partial of these. And we don't need to saute the finish because it's already been done. So, now we just make sure this is heated evenly and becomes soft. And we'll throw it into the red thing over there, put in the spinach, and also put in the noodles. And apparently when you hear that doop, 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 doop sound, it is done. <laughs> All right? All right. Now, spinach. <laughs> Alright, so you transfer the noodles into this big container. And then you add all the vegetables that you just sauteed. Mm. We're doing this to warm it up. Mix it together. Grab handful at a time. And apparently, this is where you test it out and see if the taste matches your taste buds. So you can add some more sesame oil or soy sauce or salt. How is it? That means she thinks it tastes bland. So, she's gonna add some more soy sauce. And more sesame oil. And then after 
adding all those you just continue to mix 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 try it some more and afterwards so that all the noodles mix with the veggies And on top, you put some sesame seeds. Wow. That's it. Voila. Enjoy. Well, I hope you enjoy it. And I hope your top chip comes out well. But yeah, I'm sorry I'm not that great of a cook or instructor. But I hope you were able to follow along. And hopefully it comes out not terrible. <laughs> And if it does, I'm sorry, you're a fan. But yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoy cooking with me, my mom, and my sister. And yeah, until next time. Bye!